Hello everyone. This is Dr. Ayeshola Ogundele, Astronautics for Exploit. Demand and supply drivers of lunar and cislunar economy. The focus points of my presentation are as follows. Lunar and cislunar economy, lunar and cislunar market drivers, lunar and cislunar economic demand drivers, and lunar and cislunar economic supply drivers. Moon and cislunar space refers to as the first void between terrestrial orbits and the moon, region near the moon, or the region of space closer to the Earth than the moon's orbit, offers great economic opportunities. For several years, there have been propositions by the government, public, and private space companies for lunar and cislunar economic demand and logistics supply chains. These chains are very essential for building lunar and cislunar infrastructure necessary for the attainment of human sustainable presence on the moon, Mars, and beyond. Continuous investment in lunar and cislunar economy will aid enrichment of human knowledge, help to boost space economy and world economy at large for the benefit of humankind. Lunar Gateway, a commercial port in space, will be able to thrive effectively with the existence of lunar and cislunar production-based economy and in-space economy that is based on the use of abundant resources that can be harnessed from the service of the moon. Lunar market drivers, such as technological innovations, investment, private companies, and space enthusiasts are the drivers that make lunar market develop and grow. Presently, there is increase in interest to go back to the moon by the government, private companies, and space tourists. This thereby increases day by day demand for lunar and cislunar goods and services and the need to develop lunar logistics supply chain. Examples of lunar economic demand drivers are lunar base, satellite refueling, lunar cislunar space tourism, lunar cislunar space hotel, lunar cislunar space agriculture, mass space station, gateway space station, and the host of others. Lunar and cislunar economy. Cislunar space is the region near the moon, or the region of space closer to Earth than the moon's orbit. Cislunar space also denotes the region of space within the Earth's gravitational influence, which includes the moon. This space is also called Earth orbital neighborhood. This picture shows a sustainable human presence with Artemis program in preparation for future human missions to the Mars. Lunar and cislunar economy. Economic activities taking place in space, either on the moon or in orbit around the Earth, or the moon, or the moon are referred to as the lunar or cislunar economy. The model of the lunar and cislunar economy includes lunar bases, lunar mining, space stations in strategic places between the Earth and the moon, and the mining of some near-Earth asteroids. This picture shows artist impression of a moon base. Lunar and cislunar market drivers. Market drivers are the underlying forces that compel consumers to purchase products and pay for services. Lunar market drivers are drivers that make lunar market develop and grow. This picture shows artist depiction of NASA's lunar atmosphere and dust environment explorer observatory in space with the moon in the distance. 
effects of lunar economy. In future, lunar economy will have far-reaching effects on the Earth at large. Primarily, the lunar economy has been forecasted to touch economic, political, and scientific spheres of human endeavor. This picture shows illustration of NASA's lunar space station. Lunar market drivers. There are various lunar market drivers, and some of them are technological innovations, investment, private companies, and space enthusiasts. Technological innovation. Technological innovation is one of the main drivers leading lunar economic transformation. In order to be able to mine, process, and use lunar resources in situ, there's the need to develop potential disruptive technological innovations. This will in turn aid lunar economic transformation. This picture shows artist depiction of this space gateway, a planned spaceport in lunar orbit. Investment is another lunar market driver. Increase in government and private space companies investment in lunar exploration is one of the catalysts propelling the evolution of lunar economy. Some of the companies benefiting from various investment in lunar exploration are SpaceX, Lunar Outpost, High Space, and a host of others. This picture shows artist rendering of NASA's space launch system. Private companies are also lunar market drivers. Private companies are investing in lunar tourism and lunar exploration activities for the benefit of mankind. For example, SpaceX is investing in the design and development of Starship vehicle that will one day be able to transport humans to the moon and beyond. This picture shows SpaceX Starship. Space enthusiasts are another lunar market drivers. Space enthusiasts are playing a major role in driving lunar economy market. For example, Dear Moon Mission is a lunar tourism mission and Earth project conceived and financed by Yuzuku Meizawa, a space enthusiast. This picture shows illustration of space air starship orbiting around the moon. Lunar and cislunar economic demand drivers. Some of the lunar economic demand drivers are lunar base, spacecraft reveling, lunar cislunar space tourism, lunar cislunar space hotel, lunar cislunar space agriculture, mass space station, and cislunar space station. Demand for lunar resources. Presently, there is increase in interest to go back to the moon by the government, private companies, and space tourists. And this is thereby necessitating the need to increase day-to-day -day demand for lunar and cislunar goods and services. This picture shows a moon mining concept. Examples of lunar economy demand drivers are lunar base, satellite refueling, lunar cislunar space tourism, lunar cislunar space hotel, lunar cislunar space agriculture, mass space station, and gateway space station. This picture shows Orion spacecraft orbiting the moon. Lunar base is one of the lunar economic demand drivers. All over the world, space agencies and private space companies are investing, designing, and developing lunar base on the moon. This will mark new step towards human space exploration. The aim of building lunar base is to serve as a place where lunar tourists can lodge and miners can stay and store the mined lunar resources before onward transmission to the Mars or for use on the moon. 
This picture shows concept of NASA mobile lunar base, which was designed to travel from the North Lunar Pole to the South Lunar Pole. Lunar base demand for lunar resources. Construction and use of lunar base will lead to high demand for lunar resources. For example, lunar regolith and water extracted from the moon. Use of 3D printing technology will allow on-demand production of items and spheres with routine recycling of materials available within the base, making lunar settlements much more self-sufficient and sustainable. This picture shows artist concept of an excavating robot mining the moon. Spacecraft refueling is another lunar economic demand drivers. Satellite refueling is a potential viable business. It has been forecasted that propellants obtained from lunar resources will be useful for refueling lunar rovers, orbiters, and spacecraft from the Earth to the moon and vice versa. Potential satellite refueling for the Mars or any other body in the solar system will be a source of future demand. This picture shows the design concept of Orbit Fab's tanker, mounted on a spaceflight Shepard ES in transit to geostationary orbit. Lunar Seas Lunar Space Tourism Several private companies are planning on transporting space tourists to the moon or cis lunar space. In future, plans are in top tier to make use of lunar resources instead of relying on resources from the Earth. Their moon project mission is a second lunar mission and it is also a lunar space tourism mission. In future missions, lunar tourism will have demand for lunar in-situ resources. This picture shows artist concept of a possible future lunar tourist moment. Lunar Cis Lunar Space Hotel is a lunar lunar is another lunar economic demand driver. It is more than half a century since the idea of a Hilton Hotel on the moon was first mooted. Ever since, the plan has resurfaced periodically. A bit of failure station. There are various moon space hotels in planning. The Abiru Assembly's Fuya Station is currently scheduled to begin construction in 2026 and welcome guests in 2027. In future, the moon hotels will require the use of moon resources. This picture shows concept of a hotel on the moon. Space agriculture is another lunar economic demand driver. In order to demonstrate possibility of growing plants on the moon, scientists use lunar soil brought to Earth by Apollo 11, 12, and 17 missions with only a gram of regolith allotted for each plant. Farming on the moon has been forecasted to become a reality sooner. Successfulness of the moon farming will be based on the use of lunar resources. This picture shows prototype lunar greenhouse designed to sustain a continuous vegetarian diet for astronauts on distant locations such as the moon or Mars. Cis Lunar Space Station is another lunar economy demand drivers. Lunar Gateway is a planned small space station in lunar orbit intended to serve as a solar powered communication hub. Science Laboratory short-term habitation model for government, astronauts, as well as a holding area for rovers and other robots. For deep space missions successfulness, there's the need to extract propellants from the moon. This picture shows artist concept of lunar gateway orbiting the moon. Mass space station is another economic demand driver. Private space stations are key stepping stones on humanity's path to Mars. Presently, 
there are several proposed mass space stations and mass orbiters. Boeing has a grand plan to build a crude space station in orbit around the moon, a form of lunar providing, proving ground for the technologies and procedures needed to send astronauts further out into the mass. This picture shows artist rendition of a cislunar space station, which Boeing has proposed as a stepping stone on the path of human missions to Mars. Mars Space Station Lunar Demands The astronauts aboard the Mars Space Station will have demand for lunar resources, such as extracted water, propellants, and lunar regolith. Needs of deep space missions. The Mars Station is planned to be used to stage missions into deeper space, including the gas giants and the asteroid beds. There will be high demand for lunar in situ resources. This picture shows artist illustration of the Mars Base Camp Space Station. Lunar and cislunar economic supply drivers. Supply of lunar resources, products, and services is an emerging market and in its early stage. The supply chain is in its maturation level. Several lunar supply technology demonstration missions are in progress and are being planned. This picture shows moon based concept. Lunar resources supply. Presently, efforts are being directed at laying out strategies for lunar resources supply chain, which is essential for the establishment of the abundance of space resource availability. The growth of lunar economy supply depends largely on technology development and business case viability. This picture shows an artist concept from 1969 depicting the Apollo 11 lunar model descending to the surface of the moon. With no atmosphere, the exhaust from the vehicle expands significantly. Lunar supply drivers. Various government and private companies, which are part of the lunar market drivers, are gearing up to partake in the supply of lunar raw and processed resources. Agencies and companies into lunar economy supply are NASA, ESA, SpaceX, Boeing, Blue Origin, Lunar Outpost, iSpace, and the host of others. This picture shows artist impression of activities in the moon base. You've been watching and listening to the presentation on demand and supply drivers of lunar and cislunar economy, presented by Dr. Ayanshola Ugundele, Astronautics for Exploit. Thank you.